Now what I think is very important about your story is um we were speaking off camera. Mm-hmm. Brown people make the cigars, export the cigars, whatever have you. They roll them when you on the resorts. They roll them at the weddings, but they name not on none of them. Correct, and I I, I see a flaw in that, mm-hmm. and you know I I feel like I could man enough, daring enough, mm-hmm. willing to take. Well, you've rest. done it, so I want to salute you on that first and foremost. And I appreciate mean? that. Thank you, thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate. You that. know what I'm saying? We're going to salute that, yeah. but also, um. What's the details? You said in the country there's how many black-owned cigar companies? Um, I, don't quote me on this, I, even though I know we are just on a record, but I no. think it's about 70. Somewhere around 70. And I only knew five. So I was telling my folks it was about five until I did heavier research. Mm-hmm. And I was corrected. And that's still, you figure it's 52 states. Right. That's, that's like one in, in a minuscule amount if you go by average. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that's, that's still not a lot. No, it's not a lot at all. It's, it's, it's super rare. And like I said, in the later years, last 10 years or so, more of my homies is smoking cigars and they making good money and they spending good money on good cigars. Yeah, yeah. And I think that they would love to have or be aware of more black options. Correct, correct. I mean, it's a culture. All, all, at the because same time we too. going for flavor too. Yeah, yeah. But it's good. It feel good to spend money when you know it's going... You know, correct, things like that. Correct, correct, yeah. correct. That, mm, correct. <laughs> <laughs> but like, right. I mean, I think of Uncle Nearest, um, whiskey. Uncle Nearest was the one that taught, um, what's his name? Jim, not Jim, Jim no, Jack, Jack Daniels, Daniels yeah. how to make whiskey. And yeah. he was a slave. Yeah. And his descendants went and bought all of that, the plantation, correct. all of that, that back up. I just up. watched that the other day. Yeah, and they, um, well, not his family, a, a black family, a husband mm. and wife, they bought it and they broke down. <clears throat> To where his family all go to college for free, they get a percentage of it. They made the bottle, named it after Uncle Uncle Nearest, and put a picture of the plantation, the original plantation, on the bottle. Mm-hmm. So, when you spend money with Uncle Nearest, you know the story behind that. You know the history behind that. You know that these other folks made billions off of this man's know-how, and now this is going back to his family. Correct. Correct. So that makes you feel good about drinking it, and yeah. it's quality because it's the original recipe. That's the decent part about it. That's the decent part about it. So, yeah. So, so yeah. I think about stuff like that when I see things like this because it's it's the same thing. If you sit here and you tell us like, yeah, I was in school for computers and decided, you know what, I'm gonna go network. Yeah. And networking turned into another thing where you sat down with somebody else and you had another and you had an idea and then you brought it. Like it's the same thing. Now I know the backstory. Now it's it's exciting to make sure that if we keep putting money in your pocket, maybe you can have. How many cigars you have right now? The types. Um, four different blends. Four different blends. Yeah. So maybe you can have eighteen soon. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But we got to pump into you, and right. that's why right. I, I think it's important that you came through and that right. um you do let the people know that you a regular. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing regular about you, but ain't nothing ain't nothing different about you no, either. No, no, it's no, like I mean, your ambition is your own, but right. at the same time, you're the same person that ate the eighty. Well, 18 to 80, we can smoke right. a cigar. Right, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, truth be told, I always had ambition. I always had drive. Mm-hmm. I just you used it in different ways over the years. And again, you use it in different ways again over the years and again and again. And it always leads me to something. But I kind of strategi- strategically position myself for these opportunities without even knowing it. So what's your regimen? You, 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 you grab your cigar, you clip the cigar. <laughs> what you drinking? I'm drinking the Glenlivet, uh, it's like the yellow, the orange bottle, it's like finished in the, like the Caribbean rum cast, mm-hmm. so it's a little more, it has a little more sweetness. That's what we're sipping more, now. That's what we'll be sipping right now, and mm-hmm. a little more smooth than uh, others. Mm-hmm. All, all the Glenlivets are good. I, I mean, yeah, I'm, I've had I, a few. I, I should do a partnership with them soon. <laughs> For real, I drank enough of it, so. No, I heard that, man. I, I think Puma... Cavassier, mm-hmm. quite a few people owe me some checks, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a creature. I'm a, I'm a creature of habit. I like mm-hmm. what I like. Mm-hmm. I'm into what I'm into. So that's just the thing. But um, four different blends, and you early. Yeah. You early. We still we still got got way more growth potential from where you at. For sure. You covered sure. a lot of ground in a little bit of time. What's the what's the length? How long have you officially had cigars out for the people? Since. May May of last year So that's May 2022 Yeah 
it's Man, almost we ain't been even here. In, we ain't even in May yet. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. What's some of the spots that you're in? Um, I'm in Cigar Code. Mm-hmm. Um, it's I'm a big there. one. Yeah, I'm, yeah, it's, it's a really nice place too. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Rum. Um, and his lady who, who run the thing, who run Cigar Code. Mm-hmm. Um, Infusion, I'll be there very shortly. Um, I have to go see the people from Light It Up. Definitely, mm-hmm. um, people rave about that spot. Um, the Belvedere Cigar Folks um, Cigar Lounge in Jersey. Mm-hmm. I'm in talks with those people, um, but definitely in Cigar Code right now. Dope, dope. And I, I, so it's it's so many it's so many things with this this. Um, with the tobacco industry, that it's, it's a lot of constraints in marketing, mm-hmm. um, advertising, absolutely, and so a lot of it is you just you just have to go places. Mm-hmm. You have to be you have to be your face for your brand. And I, I, originally, I didn't want to. I didn't want to be. You the was face. gonna sneak in there. You was you you was gonna make them <clears throat> think you was Italian. No 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> But um, so I mean, I'm I'm not. I mean, truth truth be told, you might not notice, but I'm like more reserved than anything else. Mm-hmm. Unless I'm around, I'm around my folks, and then I'm like the life of the party for the most part. But mm-hmm. I like to play like you no know, play like the backseat and just you know enjoy that part of it. See everybody enjoying my my cigars and things like that. So, but your face is so important for the brand. It is, and I and I I didn't know that until I met with the dude from Cigar Code. Okay. And so, so I mean, I looked at it like this: like nobody knows who uh, Ralph Lauren is. Kind of. I mean, I don't. I don't know what he looks like. I mean, I understand that. That's 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 why that's where my and was. Just... Right. <laughs> this is totally different. This is a different. This is a different um, a journey. Exactly. On top of it, it's like um, the, the 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 gift and the curse of it is that you're doing something that's innovative, um, kind of. Mm-hmm. But. The curse is you can't ask for anybody help, right? Because nobody knows about it. Nobody's right, doing right, it. Right, 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 right. So I this is that. this is uh, I'm learning um, you even more than I ever. I mean, I just like cigars. Now I'm actually learning much more about them, um, and the whole makeup, the whole process of it. Uh, even like me, so I did my website. I mean, like I said, I'm a programmer, so mm-hmm. um, but it's a lot of constraints on um, Which you can merchant on services yeah. and mm-hmm. things like that. It's a lot of details you got to go through and. Um, Places you can't ship to? No, you can ship anywhere in America. Because it's just tobacco in America. We yeah, you can't ship out of America, though. Okay, all right, all right. See, <clears throat> I wouldn't even know that. But, um, so, Scarlet, Glenn Livid in the Glass. What's on the speakers? Oh, man. <laughs> Everything from <clears throat> uh, Bill Withers, Sade, Styles P, and DMX. Everything in between, man. You don't know what you're gonna get out of me. Day. Phil Collins. Phil Co- DMX. Yeah. Smoking stoke the DMX. Of course. Other than slipping? <laughs> all, of them, all of them, man. Said the whole album. Good music is good music. All of it, man. It's funny though, because like that is the new generation of cigar smoker. Like, I think that's part of what a lot of these companies are starting to or have to start realizing is that like the new generation of cigar smoker doesn't listen to a record player and put on jazz no more. So this is the they thing. are they do still exist, but they do. They, they do. This generation is everything. So we're everything. So all right. So start. So initially, before I got in the stores, I would just like be going to places that I usually would go and promoting my cigars. And um, you can't put a face to a cigar smoker. Mm. You can't. Mm. You just see me walking up the street. I'm in Target or. Or in the it's, poppy store, like you don't know that I own a cigar brand. Like, mm-hmm. How could you? Right. Just like you came for the face, like I, I didn't know you had smoked cigar before. I, before <laughs> you came to my event, mm-hmm. and I mean it's dope. It's dope. It's like, but you can't. It's Shout like out one to Chuck Wally Wade. You know what I'm saying? They make sure I always got something decent nice, in my hand when I'm nice. around them. They, they give me a stick or two. Yeah, you can't. You can't. You can't. It's like you can't judge a book kind of thing. Absolutely, absolutely. I like my cigars a little slimmer, but. I still appreciate a good cigar. And um, for the people since this is sipping with Sammy, my first time appreciating a good cigar was I was at the um, Naval Base at a um, beer festival. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I used to frequent the beer festivals quite a bit because I get in free and I, I'm VIP and all of that yeah. when I go to them joints. So I'm there all day mm-hmm. from VIP hour when they got the exclusive stuff that they're not going to have in an yeah. hour and the yeah. food and all of that. 
So at the while, it's like I need an L, but I'm on a naval base. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And it's crazy out here. Yeah, you may not want to mess around. So they had a um cigar vendor, this little little booth. <laughs> Went over there, had a conversation with the man. He recommended me something decent. You know what I mean? I told him my experience level. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he put me on to a nice stick, and I think I smoked that for about two or three hours, walking around the beer festival, mm-hmm. tasting beer, and it was perfect. I didn't feel the need to smoke an L. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The whole time. And I was like, oh, this is a vibe. And I'm walking around, I'm talking to people that you can't talk to with a blunt in your hand. Correct, correct. You correct. know what I'm saying? So it was a vibe. And then after that, like I said, a little further down the line, a lot of my homies started picking them up. And yeah. they, well, here, try this. And what you into? And I'm, eh, all right, where? Do this. And so they I, usually be right. Yeah. So when, I, when, <laughs> when, I, when I'm when I'm talking to a, um, a cigar, a smoker that wanted, that's, that's looking to purchase one of my cigars, I kind of ask him, what, how, how you feel? Mm. What are you feeling like? Or what are you drinking? Mm-hmm. Because you don't have to be drinking to enjoy a cigar. Like I'll have another one of my, my, my blends if I'm having tea in the morning. Mm. You know what I mean? I call it like a breakfast smoke. Mm. So it's a thing. You know what I mean? You really like going old man time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I, you know, I worked from home for like so many years being a programmer. Yeah, you do what you want. So yeah, I'm in my robe and having a cigar like, Tony Soprano. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> stomach. I got the stomach. <laughs> Call get the paper with my robe open. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it's my yeah. block. Damn there. Damn. <laughs> Damn there, man. No, but that's the life. That's 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 the dream because it it allowed you one the financial stability to be able to create your own thing and mm-hmm. your own brand, and two the time and and, and the way to your schedule so that you could do it too. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes you know. Mm. It's one thing to spend somewhere eight to ten hours a day, but when it take you an hour or two to get to and fro, yeah, that's and, exhausting. And between man. and the kids and the groceries and the, you know, I gotta, gotta stop up. to do the thing. And, you know what I mean? The kids, you know, yeah. Gotta, so gotta do, yeah. it's <laughs> so it's a lot. So I mean, those are blessings. You you meant to be where you at, man. And I we'll, we'll, we'll toast to that. Yeah, you know I like that. I like that. But what have been like the um. The surprising parts about like since you what what's the unexpected things the positive things that have come from since you put yourself out there you got your face out there yeah you went cold and you know what I yeah. mean like what, so, what what have you what have you noticed different so than what you expected so normally I, like I don't have to dress up for work so when I'm off mm. I'm I'm in I'm, I'm I'm dressed almost the same way I'm dressed in the house like right wear baseball cap backwards mm-hmm. t shirt. Sweatpants, yeah, yeah, gee, sweatpants, whatever. Mm-hmm. I closed cigar code with my hat to the back. That's deep. And my lady's like, "You're not gonna dress up." I was like, "I gotta give him me, man. I don't know what to tell you." <laughs> I, I mean, I feel more comfortable when I'm. I well, feel like me. Being comfortable is most important. Yeah, because that's that's where that's that you can't go in there and say, "Oh yeah, I'm this young guy that has cigars, and I'm not that young." But to other by everybody else, I'm a young guy, and, and they right, like, yeah. you know, they like, well. He probably doesn't know shit about cigars, and mm-hmm. I don't believe him. So I got to be as comfortable as I can be. So there's that, you know. No, it's that's 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 definitely a thing. I'm 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 hip hop, so I always dreamed that whenever I dropped heavy on a car or something, I was going like this. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And whoever don't want to sell me is not getting this commission because mm-hmm. I want somebody that want to deal with me like me. Whether you know what I got, or I don't. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like and. The older you get, that's like a small miniature thing. You like that's so, whatever surface, but it's a mentality that we've had. Like we are the hip hop generation. We come as like, except me for me, bro, because yeah. y'all been fake this whole time. Yeah. Everybody that has a uniform that we used to see and that we supposed to respect has not been the people they Correct. supposed to be. Correct. Correct. You know what Correct. I'm saying? And I don't want to come at religious, but we went to the same school. Yeah. Yeah. And and we seen some things. Oh man, please. <laughs> you know that joke. We can talk all night we, about we, that. We right we there. seen some things to where it's like you know everybody that's supposed to be respected ain't respectable. Correct. Correct. And, and, but I'll get in trouble. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> no, so so another another dope part was um, the Eagles were playing um, this this before the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Eagles were playing, so I go to this spot near my crib, and um, I'm, I'm just I'm out there smoking a cigar. But I got like a box, like two boxes of cigars in my trunk because I was supposed to take them to somebody. But they, um, I don't know, something happened. Whatever mm-hmm. happened, I can't remember. Mix up. Um, so I, I'm sitting there and. Um, 
So, so let's backtrack. So I, I bought this really fucking expensive car, right? With this mind, no, really, it was, it was crazy. And the mind frame behind it was, I'm not just selling cigars, I'm selling like lifestyle. Lifestyle, absolutely. So I have to give you some certain things for you to even, for me to even sell you on it. Mm-hmm. Before you even try to taste it, I'm like, okay, I can I can get with this. Yeah, cigar. I'm not really buying cigars from you on Illumina. C- correct. Correct. Keep it G. So whatever, whatever. I'm sitting on the back of my car. Or I'm, I'm, I have my trunk open and I'm sitting kind of in the trunk. Mm-hmm. And um, my homeboy pulls up and then this other gentleman pulls up that I don't, I don't know. I never met him. And I'm like, excuse me, sir, you smoke cigars? He was like, yeah. I was like, well, I'm, you know, Maurice from Chateau, Maurizio cigars. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, I tell him the blends and, mm-hmm. you know, it's like, well, shit, let me get three. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, try four, and I'll give you. You know, I do mm-hmm. a, I do a, a sampler deal for the four. Mm-hmm. And he did, and then his friends pulled up, and some more people pulled up, and at one point, it's like thirty of us out there <laughs> smoking my cigar out the trunk. I, I right out the trunk. You master I, P with the cigars, yeah, auto. Yeah. Master P with the cigar my chest, shit. My chest was poked out. I went home and I showed my daughter this much money. <laughs> and she's like, period. You know the little kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah period. 